Hey guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, my name is Lauren. Thank you for watching. So today we've got a little bit two in one. So what I mean by that is this is like a, a post-op nose job one year vlog, but it's also my nose job number two video because it is 1 p.m. on September 1st, 2021, and today is the date of my second surgery. I honestly didn't tell anyone this was such an impulse. I got back from New York and I booked it right away, which was like a week ago, and today is the day. So I'm about to go to that, but I just wanted to introduce this video because I still have a video from March of this year from my post op from my first nose job. So we're going to start with that and then we're going to get a good we're gonna get into some juicy nose job number two videos. So without further ado, let's rewind back to March. Okay, so we're on our way home from the post-op appointment and I stand by what I said in my last vlog that I am not happy. So I went in and yeah, it's COVID, but my mom had just tested negative for COVID this morning and they're like, no, unfortunately she can't come in. I'm like, and so that was just pushed me the wrong way. The appointment was four minutes. So I also don't see why she couldn't have come in. And then, so I sit down. He's like, when have I seen you last? Doesn't even really know who his patients are. Honestly, what I could have told him my name was like Anne and he would have believed me. But I take off my mask and, he, and I, before he even says anything, I'm like, okay, so this is the deal. There's still a bump and it's not straight on my face. I'm expecting him to be like, oh no, it looks so good. He agrees with me. He goes, oh, I, I see the bump. I see where you're coming from. And it starts like touching it. I'm like, do you think touching it is gonna make it go away? Obviously not. So um, there's that. He's like, yeah, the bump is still there. Like sometimes it can like grow back. I'm like, I'm not a plant. Like, what do you mean it can grow back? I didn't pay all this money just so my nose could like grow back. You know what I mean? And then once that was out of the way, I'm like, oh, it's also not straight. And we're like looking at before pictures at the same time. And he's like, yeah, but like no one's nose is 100% straight. I'm like, oh, but do you tell that to all your patients before they give you thousands of dollars? Obviously not, because why would he do that? And then he's like, yeah, with like the other like asymmetrical parts of your face, like it looks fine. I'm like, did you just fucking say my face is asymmetrical? Like, excuse me? I was so confused and I'm like, just okay. And so it's March 1st, so it's been around eight months. And so obviously July will be a year. So he's like, you know what? Maybe you should come back after a year and see how you feel. I'm like, but what is the point of that? He's like, well, I would do it again. I'm like, what do you mean you would do it again? Like, I don't wanna fucking do it again. Like, not only do I not have the money for that, like, ooh, like, I don't want to. He's like, oh, it like wouldn't be like a full surgery. Like it's 30 minutes. Like it would just be to shave down the bump. Like not, like, not the same like recovery time or anything like that. I'm like, oh, this should be good. How much does it cost? And he's like, oh, it's free. But, but, don't worry, there is a but you have to pay for the anesthesia. I'm like, well, mm, if I'm awake, is it free? Um, obviously not, cause you know, whatever. So I would have to pay an extra $800, which I couldn't even afford to do right now if I wanted to. So that's a plus, That's a, that was great. That made me feel really good. And yeah, so pretty much he said it's not perfect. Cause obviously there's still a bump. Like I'm not crazy, like I'm not, it, and it's been eight months, so like, yeah, it like could heal a bit, but like, that's not going away, you know? Like, it it came back almost, because I post, I showed you guys the pictures of right after surgery, and like, I'll, sh I'll put them in here again. Like, it was completely straight, and he said, he's like, yeah, we made sure to make it completely straight. I'm like, okay, but why isn't it straight now? Then like, I don't I don't get how the, the cartilage and the bone can like grow back. So that was super, that was super confusing. And yeah, so basically I can make the decision if I want to, to go back, if I want to go through that again, which I don't. But the fact that I like, just after all of this, like there's still the two things wrong with it that I went to fix in the first place. It's just kind of like really, really annoying. So I'm really not sure what I'm going to do. And 
yeah, I just have no words. I, I don't know if I would recommend going to him. I, I mean, he could be different per person. I just like figured removing a bump is probably one of the simplest things you can do in a rhinoplasty and like sure and like it can like grow back and you can't like change that but like maybe a heads up would have been nice uh by the way your nose might grow back like would have been nice you know what i mean like <laughs> it's true but yeah so maybe it's all the line you can it's like pinocchio no i'm not pinocchio but just like fuck like just fuck that's all i have to say fuck and if you're getting a nose job and you're watching this not only should you research your options um you should also research your options <laughs> just really decide what you want to do and just know that you could turn out like me even though i am stunning um but i still i'm, I'm not saying it's made me uglier it made me better looking it's just you know what i mean like it's just not exactly what i would have thought it would have turned out to be like my before and after pictures were like obviously different but not to the extent that he showed me what it would look like because they show you like predictions and like just i think that's just like shut you up and like fork over your money but whatever i'm not doing it again because i'm can barely afford a mcchicken right now but <laughs> you could afford a big mac no i can't Okay, but yeah, that's just my update. I'll probably update you in a couple months. Oh my god, can you not drive on every single pothole? I'm sorry. You should pave the road before Lauren does her vlog next time. Yeah, so that's it for now. Got a new coat, but I'll update you soon. Okay, we're here and we're changed. This is the fit. There's literally a blood So that's super comforting. Um, yeah, I'm a bit nervous because I kind of didn't prepare for this at all. I don't have pain meds or gauze or no spray or anything like that. But at least I look cute. So they are, I don't even know what he's doing. I'm so nervous if I'm being honest. There's still a bump, as you can see, that needs to go. And yeah, so here's the before. Yeah, all my clothes are in this little baggie. I think I'm gonna be throwing out on the street after. Got my mask. I'm just rambling because I'm a bit nervous. But I'm okay. And I'll see you after. Hey guys, okay, so here we are. Today's September 2nd, so it's been like 14 hours since surgery. I didn't come on here yesterday, but I'll tell you why I'll run it back. So we get there, whatever, whatever. He comes to talk to me. We just go over what we want to do. And then I talk to the anesthesiologist, tell him how horrible of a time I had last time after the anesthetic. Wish I could say it was much different, but it wasn't. They were pleasant. Honestly, this was a bit of a better experience. They like took me in. The nurses are just, they're just not great. Like they were like rushing. I'm trying to like start a conversation. Like they could tell I was nervous. I was like, oh, how long have you been a nurse for? She's like 70 years or something like that. Not 70 years. That doesn't make sense. But like stuff like that. And then I got on the table and like you put your arm out to get the needle and I don't mind needles. I think he like thought I was going to faint because I was so nervous. I'm like, I'm literally fine. Put the thing in my hand and put me to fucking sleep. So whatever puts me to sleep. And it was literally 30 minutes. Not even, I don't think, obviously, I didn't, I didn't actually have a dream. But I woke up and I was in recovery and I actually opened my eyes a lot faster than before. I felt okay. And still they start, until they started repositioning me. So they were like, okay, scoot up a bit. Like, you're going to sit up. I was like, absolutely not. Absolutely not. They were trying to sit me up. And I honestly was, I was, I was lying like this. And I was fine. I wasn't nauseous. My eyes were closed. I was fine. And then I like lay there for about an hour until my mom came. So she came and I had to get up. And they were like, well, first I got dressed. It was fine. And they were like, swung my feet over the bed. I'm like, I am about to throw up on you. So unless you want to get me a pan, like it's gonna be on your your cheap scrubs. Like so that's what it's gonna be. So 
And then they have this massive staircase to like get out to the back because they don't let you go to the front because obviously you look literally hideous. So I go up to the back, there's must have been 40 stairs. So I'm like clinging onto the nurse for dear life and I'm holding onto the railing that I'm sure so many crummy people have touched. I'm like going down for get in the car and my mom was honestly playing. How many potholes can we hit? So we did a lot of that. We got home though, the ride was fine, didn't throw up on the way home. And then I got in the house. I sat on like the nearest couch and I just sat up like this with my arms out and I closed my eyes. I wasn't nauseous and my eyes were closed and I wasn't moving. But the second I like tried to like put my head on the pillow, like I couldn't. I was like, don't do that. So time goes by, I nap, I nap. I have some crackers, they were good. I, I kept them down. I'm drinking some Gatorade. And then I'm like honestly starving because I had to fast until 4.30. Well, I had to fast until... My surgery was 4 30 and then i didn't really eat when i got home so i tried some mozzarella soup and literally put a quarter of mozzarella in my mouth i'm like okay so i really felt nauseous so i threw up everywhere and then i was just ugh. i was fine when i was sitting but as soon as i got up or made any set of movements like i was done for so i got to my bed and i threw up and then i was fine and then i needed to go to the bathroom I threw up and I was fine. I needed to come back to my bed and I threw up. I was fine. It's every time I move. So like I would try not to move, but I, I had to like go to the bathroom. So it was hard. Um, I actually slept through the night other than having to pee so many times. And I drank so much water after surgery because like I couldn't have water either. So that was nice. But other than that, I would say the surgery is super, super different. Like I can breathe 100% perfectly. I honestly look good no blood nothing there's not even a cast on it's just tape it looks kind of good right now i don't want to jinx it which i probably just did but other than like a bit of uneasiness in my stomach like i probably couldn't run a marathon not that i could like on a regular day anyway but i'm okay i'm gonna try and eat more today again it's it's been like literally 14 hours since surgery but like Last night really took all the anesthetic out of me and so did the vomit. So we're good there. Um, and we're gonna see what happens throughout the day. I took one pain med yesterday, Celebrex. He gave me Celebrex and Dilaudid, but Dilaudid was so strong last time. And like, I just don't need that. Like I only took the Celebrex last night because I thought it was gonna make me drowsy, like help me sleep and it didn't. And I don't have any pain right now. So I'm probably just gonna like stray away from them because I just don't wanna take meds if i don't have to especially because i don't like to swallow them but it's so so nice that i can breathe through my nose so my lips are chopped like there's no blood i cleaned it up a bit but already like 10 out of 10 on the recovery a lot a lot easier and i think it's because i had less anesthetic they didn't realign the bone this time and i told him that i was gonna cry if it didn't turn not that he cares but whatever okay I will check in soon. Hi guys. So it's September 2nd today. It's Friday. My surgery is on Wednesday. It's like 12.45. I woke up to a bit of discomfort on my eyes. Just like a bit of puffiness. Like not really much bruising. But just because I think the, the tape is like going into my eye. But otherwise like sleeping has been kind of good. And I had like a full on dinner last night, obviously from Cynthia's. And then I had, um, five like I've been eating fine again. And I went for a walk yesterday, I wore a mask, sunglasses, and a hat. I honestly looked like the guy from you. But yeah. And yesterday, Dr. Rival called me to check in, which was really, really nice. Something that he didn't do the first time, but I mean, did the second time. He like called me with no caller ID, which when someone calls me with no caller ID, like I'll answer, but I'll be silent in, until they say something so I can see if it's like a scam or someone just want to hear my voice because that happens sometimes. Yeah, you know who you are. And so he's like, hello. And I'm like, oh, hello. And he's like, oh, it's Dr. Rival. I'm like, oh, that's so nice of you. So we called and there's like questions. So since this is just tape, like I was wondering when, because like it's eventually going to fall off. And since I don't have to go back after a week to like change a cast or anything, so when this falls off, like he actually gave me tape, which was so nice of him. I didn't have to go by myself to change. 
So hopefully, I don't know, I really do want to take it off and change it though, just because the puffiness is all coming from this being so compact. But I've been washing my face and everything like just around it, which I didn't do last time. So I'll probably try to push this, I don't know, until the weekend at least, because I know like you did a good job taping. I don't know if I'll be able to tape it the same. But yeah, so it's Friday. It's been like almost a full two days since my surgery. I am still okay. The puffiness is kind of annoying, but I'll see what happens when I change the tape and get a look at it. I'll obviously show you. But until then, we're chilling. We're chilling in the same shirt as yesterday. I don't want judgment. I did shower yesterday. Whatever. Okay. TTYL. Okay, guys. So, it has been two weeks and one day to be precise since my septoplasty slash revision rhinoplasty so we're gonna go through it all again quickly so it's been two weeks it does honestly look a bit different than when it did like the first day whatever i'm gonna put some pics up before and not after yet because i want to just give you an after now but here's some like r pictures right after surgery with the tape they put on. They didn't do a cast just because they, fe they felt they didn't need to because nothing was breaking. But again, I do see a big difference from like right after surgery to now. Right after surgery, it kind of had like a swoop, which I, I really liked and it kind of doesn't have that anymore. But if I'm being honest, like it, it's not some drastic change from before. It also didn't do much damage, so I'm happy I did it. Like, if it makes it makes me feel better for now. Again, it's only been two weeks, and it's going to take another couple of months to fully see. But I do like it now, whereas last time I kind of see some things I didn't like form a bit after surgery. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm saying. So this is the final product for two weeks. So, I mean... They didn't fix the crookedness, but a part of me kind of thinks it isn't that crooked anymore, maybe because it's swollen. So this is the front view. Here's 45. And here is the side. So I'll insert some pics. I've kind of been taking pictures actually every day since the cast came off. So the, the change has kind of been a bit gradual. It looks a bit like more natural, but again, I am happy with it. I would suggest that if it's not a hassle for you to get a septoplasty and you want one, then just do it. Like it really didn't affect any of my plans. The recovery time was literally nothing. And again, I didn't pay because it was like he recognized that he wanted to do it again. But overall, I am happy with the results. There's still a couple of stitches in my nose that are bothering me. But my nostrils align now. The bump is... I wouldn't say it's 100% gone because it isn't. But I mean, I don't know what else I could possibly do. I'm happy enough. I would say it's like 95% gone. But overall... I mean, is it the nose that I... Would I have picked out of a crowd? No. Does it fit my face? Yes. Is it natural? Yes. So at the end of the day, like, I went into my nose job, like, thinking I, like, had really unrealistic standards, which was unhealthy for me, but at the end of the day, I do like it. One second. Okay, so now I'm going to put in, like, a bunch of before and after pictures. I'm going to put in pre-nose job one, and then pre-nose job two, and you can kind of see how... I mean, obviously there is a difference from nose job one and nose job two, and then the tiny difference now, but again, just if you want to get a look and see that a septoplasty kind of does do minor differences, but you go into the surgery and like knowing that's what you want and that's what I wanted. But yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'd be happy to answer them, as well as send me a DM on Instagram about my surgeon, anything. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and maybe I'll do a six month post-op septoplasty but this the nose jobs are done for me bye